Good morning, everybody. And uh, this will be a presentation uh, that uh, we're giving on behalf of all co-authors of the uh, Clarity, which is a global phase three randomized double-blind study of ivozidinib versus placebo in patients with advanced cholangiocarcinoma with isostrate dehydrogenase IDH1 mutation. These are our disclosures. Clarity was uh, available for patients who have histologically confirmed advanced cholangiocarcinoma with uh, centrally confirmed mutation IDH1 by next generation sequencing, good performance tests up to ECOG1, one to two prior lines of therapy that one of them should be included, uh, either 5-fluorouracil or gemcitabine, and measurable disease as measured by RESIST 1.1. There was a pre-screening of IDH1 mutations, and then accordingly, patients were randomized 2 to 1 in a randomized fashion for ivozidinib 500 mg daily, nonstop, versus placebo. An important point is that the patients on the placebo arm, if they were to show any radiologic progression of disease, they were allowed to cross over to unblinded ivozidinib treatment. The primary endpoint was progression-free survival, which was done by blinded independent cancer uh, radiology uh, review. And secondary endpoints including safety and tolerability, the PFS by local review, overall survival, response rate, and uh, quality of life, pharmacokinetics, and pharmacodynamics. The progression-free survival curve is noted over here, which shows the Kaplan-Meier, which kind of split about the time of the first CAT scan, as you can see, which is about one and a half months or six weeks, with clear separation from that point on in favor of the isozidinib, which is noted in blue, versus the placebo, which is noted in red. The hazard ratio was 0 0.37, with the p-value less than 0 0.001. The median is 2.7 for the ivozidinib and 1.4 months for the placebo. The six month rate for the ivozidinib was 32% and it was not estimable for the placebo because there were no patients there at that point in time. And same thing for the 12 month PFS rate, 22% for the ivozidinib and not estimable for the placebo because there were no patients left on that arm. The disease control rate was 53% for the ivozidinib, 2% partial response, and understandably, in view of the cytostatic nature of the drug, 51% stable disease. The overall survival, as you can see here, is again showing a difference between the ivozidinib and placebo. In favor of the ivozidinib, 10.8 months versus placebo is 9.7. Understandably, in view of the crossover that was allowed and permitted on the study, we added a PRSFT evaluation for the, uh, for the placebo arm that will make us calculate the overall survival as if the patients never crossed over to the ivozidinib treatment. With this RPSFT, the uh, improvement uh, or the worsening rather in the overall survival of the placebo arm dropped to six months and now we're comparing 10.8 months for the ivozidinib versus six months for the placebo with the hazard ratio of 0 0.46 and with the p-value of less than 0 0.001. And again to confirm the uh, blue is the ivozidinib and the red is the placebo before the RPSFT and put focus on the blue versus the green, which is the RPSFT calculation for the placebo. And as such, Clarity is the first phase three study of targeted oral therapy of non-cytotoxic mechanism of action in advanced metastatic cholangiocarcinoma. The significant improvement in progression-free survival by center review and the favorable OS overall survival trend tolerable safety profile all support the clinical benefit of avozidinib in patients with IDH1 mutated cholangiocarcinoma. This pivotal trial represents a practice changing result where genomic testing would become the standard of care and of course other than the drug itself it will open the opportunity for more target specific trials in this rare indication where limited progress has been made over the past decade.
Thank you very much.